Hello apples and cherries, welcome back for another maths lesson with Miss Stevens looking at capacity. So our focus for this week is learning the language used to describe an object's capacity and to then use this language and our knowledge to solve problems. So our learning objective is to describe capacity and the success criteria is that we will be able to explain what capacity is and we should be able to do that now. We can use the language to describe an object's capacity and we can even solve problems. So I did say that I was going to test you on your definition of capacity. So remember, you can use your own words. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. But can you explain to me what capacity means? Well done, it's how much fluid, so something like water, fits inside a container. Now just before we move on to the rest of the lesson, we're just going to have a quick retrieval practice. So this was part of your task yesterday and it says, have the potions been ordered correctly? So if we have a look on the screen, have I put my potions in order from the least amount? Just draw an arrow there to help you. So does it start at the least amount and does it get to the biggest or the most amount of liquid? Now make sure you look at each potion bottle to see if they are in the correct order or if you can spot a mistake. So have the potions been ordered correctly? No, they haven't. And hopefully you spotted the mistake. So the pink and the green potions are in the wrong place. They need to swap. So I just draw an arrow again. So the green one needs to go in here. And the pink one needs to go here. Because then the order will be from least to most. So we've got an empty bottle and nearly empty. Then the green one will be here to make it half full or half empty. Then the pink one will be next to show nearly full. And then the last one of the yellow one showing a full bottle. So we looked at that language yesterday, didn't we? Of least, smallest, most and biggest to order the capacity of something. And we looked at my glasses, I ordered them from the smallest or the least amount of liquid to the biggest or most amount of liquid. So I have got a milkshake shop and it is called Out of This World Shakes. And I've got some aliens that have misplaced, so they've lost their milkshakes. And I need your help to pick the right one. So this alien says, my milkshake is nearly empty. So which one is his milkshake? Is it the pink one? So maybe that's a strawberry flavour. Or is it the brown one, so a chocolate milkshake? Which one is showing as a nearly empty glass? Well done, it is the strawberry one. Because the liquid inside is closer to the bottom. It's not halfway, it's not at the top, and it's not completely empty. The brown glass is showing as half full or half empty because the liquid is halfway up the glass. OK, we've got a different alien this time and he is saying that his milkshake is full. So which one is showing us the full milkshake? Is it the strawberry one or the chocolate one?
well done, that was quite an easy one, is the chocolate one because the liquid or the fluid inside goes all the way up to the top, whereas the strawberry milkshake is nearly full because there is still a bit of a gap. Okay, this alien says my milkshake is half full. So is he, has he got the strawberry milkshake or the chocolate milkshake? Half full. Well done, he's got the strawberry milkshake because again, the fluid or the liquid inside is halfway in the glass. Well done for your learning today. Now your task is a bit of a problem solving task, so we're ticking off that last success criteria. You're going to have a sheet with some different people at a birthday party and just like the aliens, they have lost their drinks and they need you to help to sort them out. So this girl at the top here says my drink was nearly full. So again, you've got to cut and stick the correct glass and make sure you give it to the right person. Okay, let's just reflect then on what we've done. So again, we've been looking at using the language to describe capacity. So we've looked at full, empty, half full, half empty, nearly full and nearly empty. And I tested you this morning on what we can explain what capacity is. And I'm pretty sure we can all do that. So we can give that one a tick. We have further looked at using the language to describe an object's capacity. So we've done that through our out of this world milkshakes. And we're beginning to solve capacity problems. So your task today is a problem solving task. <laughs>